So it turns out that insulting the demonic, satanic, false religion of Islam on Facebook led to a five-year prison sentence for a Christian in Algeria. I'm going to read you this article from Morningstar News. They track Christian persecution around the world. And it says, A judge in Oran, Algeria on Monday, March 22nd, upheld a five-year prison sentence for a Christian convicted of reposting a cartoon of Islam's false prophet, I'll just add that in there, false prophet, on his Facebook account three years ago, sources said. Farid Kamasti, Kema hope, hope I'm saying that right, attorney for Hamid, surname withheld for security reasons, said the 43-year-old father of four children appeared to have received a heavy sentence because he was a Christian. The Oran City Court of Justice also upheld his fine of 100,000 diners or $750 US money. Quote, I was really hope for his reduction in the sentence. I expected at the worst six months in prison uh, Kamisti told Morningstar News, quote, this is, the act, this is the maximum that a fair judgment would have given, but I don't think my client is being a Christian made it any easier. Probably didn't because Islam has a, thirst for the blood, has a thirst for the blood of Christians, just like our Roman Catholicism has a thirst for blood, the blood of uh, God's saints. Continuing. Kamisti said that the judge and prosecutor were visibly upset when he suggested to them that they were handing down the heavy sentence because Hamid was a Christian. Quote, I said to them, if it's, my, if it's because my client is a Christian that you condemn him so heavily, I'll then say it honestly. Uh, Kamisti told Morningstar News, quote, of course they didn't like it. Their faces uh, changed color as I told them that, unquote. He noted that Hamid was not the creator of the cartoon. Uh, that he had received and reposted in 2018. Quote, I pleaded for his re uh, his release because it is clear that my client does not deserve such a heavy sanction. He is not the source of this post. I uh, quote the author of the publication in question is abroad. The investigating security services did not, could not find anything else in my client's Facebook account other than his, other than this cartoon, unquote. Kamisti uh, said he asked the judge what sentence would be if Hamid were the author of the cartoon, and that he said it would be the same. Same with Article 144 of Algeria's uh, penal code that, uh, stipulates that five years is the maximum penalty for insulting the false prophet of Islam, Mohammed. So, again, more just corrupt fruit of Islam. You see, they cannot stand up the, the Islam cannot stand up the scrutiny. Islam is a religion of bloodshed and murder. And when you criticize someone, when you criticize the demonic, uh, lascivious, idolatrous, false prophet Muhammad, then you're going to get sentenced to jail in some of these Islamic majority countries. You know, uh, Christians, we can stand up the criticism. We can answer our critics. We can answer the atheists and the you know skeptics who want to criticize Jesus Christ. But with Islam, when you criticize your false prophet, they can't stand up the criticism. That's why they have to throw you in jail in these countries that are mostly Islamic. So just more proof that Islam is a satanic, demonic, false religion that hates the God of the Bible and they hate any criticism of their demonic, false religion. So don't be deceived by Islam. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.